guys, I found the Ashlands and I set up this really good spot on the border of the Mistlands and the Ashlands. Um, I'm working on making it, improving it over time. Um, but I've got this little alcove in here inside of the inside of this mountain here, kind of like a cave, basically. Um, it's very rough right now. I got a portal set up here. I'm protected on the overhead a little bit for the from the jaw and stuff. I'm thinking about getting a stone cutter here, getting iron here, and then making a a roof up here. Um, still have the mountain roof as extra protection, but as a, as an added layer of protection just carve out the mountain and then put stone there kind of like I have at that one fort or that one portal fort I have where I had a verger tower and I just used that as cover and I dug underneath and used that as cover similar idea but this is a great idea um, I mean a great s section for resources not only with the certlings with the certling core and also the of course coal but because it's at the Mistlands, they attack hair as well, and they attack the Seekers. They do great against the Seekers. And so you get loads of Seeker meat, hair meat. You get all kinds of great stuff. Um, they do really good against the Seekers. I'm going to get all kinds of good videos for you guys of, of these guys versus... Look at that. Look how much Seeker meat and just coal and stuff there is just from these guys attacking each other all this time. Look at that. <laughs> Sometimes I was in the cave and I was just hearing them fight it out and you get all look at all this stuff Look at all this loot and I didn't even have to I built I had to build the cave and stuff um, To do it, but look at all this stuff that you get. It's awesome Look at all this look at all this coal look <laughs> I've got so much coal in certain cores now. Look at this. It's crazy. It's it's really it's really good. They do really good against the. I haven't seen them against the jaw yet, but I bet they do good against the jaw as well. I bet ya. Um, look at that. Fifty coal, eight certling ones, six seeker meat. I haven't picked up the rabbit, the hare meat yet, but I'm willing to bet there's a lot there as well. Just within this short amount of time. So this is a great spot. I'm going to keep working on expanding it. I cannot, the one thing I want to improve and get is I want to find the Yagulith Vegisphere. It is incredibly difficult to find. I have not found it yet. It is very, 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 very difficult to find. It's nearly impossible. Like I've been to like 10, 12 different plane spots. I have not found it yet. And of course you can't see the, through the fog when you're in the mist if you if you don't have that so um, at some point I gotta do that um, but yeah I just wanted to show you guys the progress I'm making this is a great resource spot uh, the frost staff would work great here against these one these certlings here because they're weak against frost and it's a ranged weapon so I might eventually build that to so I can of course you can get them with frostner as well or, or the arbalist or uh, you could get them with the the bow with the with the frost arrows. That would also work out. But so I just wanted to show you guys. I gotta mark this spot before I forget. As soon as I can get some of my stamina back up here. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a dangerous spot. Like I've died here. The seekers have killed me here. But it's it's also a really good. It's worth it. Just the resources. Look at that. I got seven carapaces, seven seeker meat just from that. Um, I got the seeker trophy. I got this. I got to get the hair meat and stuff. I got nine certling cores. Like the only problem with uh, making um, portals now, the only shortage we'll have really is the gray dwarf eyes. That's going to be hard to come by, but I have an idea for that as well. But it's it's a really good resource spot. It really is. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. I did not find an infested mine, unfortunately, in that Mistland spot there. Um, I'm going to keep looking. Um, I'm going to keep looking around uh, the fueling areas, I mean the plains areas, trying to find the Vegisphere or, or trying to find the spot to fight Yaglith because, you know, having the Wisp would help a lot and then being able to have the Mistwalker as well that would help out a lot uh, but it's very out of all the boss vegispheres this is the toughest so far by far by like 10 times like I have been
There's so many feeling villages at this point, and I just cannot find it. But I hope you guys have a good day, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye, everybody.